Hey guys, it's Technology Nerd here, and today we'll be doing a review of the Logitech G27 racing wheel for PC or PS3. Um, it's actually compatible with quite a few games on PS3, so that's how our review. We're going to be using Gran Turismo 5 today to do our review on this steering wheel. Um, I've already used it. Um, I gotta say, it feels very much like a real car, especially with the force feedback and the full turn of the wheel. It turns the full uh, 500 degrees, I believe it was. And the motors in it make it feel like you actually have that road resistance when you're driving on force feedback games. So right now I'm just gonna do an overview because I didn't do an unboxing of this item. But uh, this is the new box of the item. I know this is not a new G series wheel, but the new box of the item comes in the new Logitech G box. It's still the G27, same one that they've always had before, but now in the new packaging. So just a couple things I wanted to show you before we get started with the actual review. So over here we have the actual steering wheel itself and it's very nice. It's leather around over here with the aluminum, not that cheap plastic. We have your paddle shifters here which are also aluminum and it has that nice feel to it. Uh, you have these profile buttons over here. Right here is this LED indicator for gear shift uh, so when it fills up you know when to shift gears up or down. On the bottom here we have all the connections for um, the pedals and the shifter and the power. So you just plug them in right there. And of course we have the brackets which are built in. Next thing I want to talk about is the gear shifter. Uh, the actual shifter. This is the full um, six gear shift so one two three four it goes up and down it's not like that cheap just up down up down like i noticed i have the gamestop steering wheel too and it's just up and down up and down up and down but this has the full six gear shift and also a reverse if you push down and go back you can also go in reverse which i didn't find out until after a while so you also have kind of like PS3 buttons right up here, your triangle square X and circle, your directional pad, and some more profile buttons right here. Also, of course, you have mountain brackets like that you can mount your shifter. Next is the pedals. The pedals, you have your accelerator, your brake, and of course your uh, gear shifter, your uh, one thing I do want to say about the brake though is that it's very, very heavy. I mean, I gotta figure out how to adjust it. I haven't learned it, but it's very, very heavy to push down. Uh, but that's how it's supposed to be. The brake is supposed to be heavier than the accelerator in real cars, but this one's just very heavy. It takes a considerable amount of force to push down on it. Um, so that might have to be adjusted. But once again, it is full, I believe it's aluminum, anyways, uh, aluminum. Um, and it just looks nice. It's very heavy. It's not cheap, definitely not cheap at all. Um, so that's it for that. So we're gonna go ahead and get to the actual driving part of this video and we'll be right back with that okay guys so now we're back with um the logitech g27 steering wheel and we're about to test it out with gran turismo 5 which is one of the games that it is compatible with i'm going to try to get the best video footage as possible um i don't have my camera guy um so Hopefully this works out for you. Uh, I know you can't see the pedals, but get a gist of how this works. You can kind of get the TV screen in. So I thought this was the best viewing point possible for you guys. I'm going to be driving over there in a second. I'm just going to do a quick run, a practice run actually. And I'll show you how the uh, shifter works too. We'll do a manual. Um, I'm not exactly great at shifting manual but we'll still give it a try just to show you how it works the table that i'm using is okay i mean it's not really um meant for the steering wheel the steering wheel has some great force to it and i'll show you the force feedback in a second but we're just going to go ahead and get that started up Let's skip all this which can be skipped i think yeah this one is acting as player one right now. So we're going to go ahead and get into that seat over there. And get ready to drive. 
And I really hope you can see everything good, guys. So you can use this as your X, X squared triangle circle pad over here. I mean, it doesn't have any labels on it, but it's pretty much the same layout. So let's see, what will we be driving today? Well, we will drive the Corvette Stingray, the prototype that they put in. Go to the practice rounds. Won't actually do a race because not that great. Move the pedals up a little bit. Uh, we'll go somewhere easy for now, just the um, speed test. Is a manual? Okay. So. This is a great example of the force feedback. Uh, so right now I can't fully turn the wheel. The force feedback is on. You can definitely tell it's difficult to turn the wheel and it'll rotate back to the original position. Um, and you'll notice that too when you're turning, um, it'll be hard to turn at high speeds. And if you hit something, this will start to wobble. Once you get to high speeds, this will start to wobble as in a real car. It will never stay straight. So you want to really try to keep your hands on the steering wheel as much as possible. Sometimes I find the force feedback a little too strong, but you can adjust the sensitivity in um, Gran Turismo 5. So if you go to settings, you can set the sensitivity. Let me just, there we go. I don't like driving the other way. Get the cockpit view. So right now, if you see over here these lights, uh, you can see that they're red in the middle. So it's time for me to shift gear, which I wasn't even in first gear yet. So let's at least get to that. So first gear and you see the lights ready to shift so you want to shift down you can shift again up now to three shift to four time shift to five so as you can see if I don't touch the steering wheel it wobbles all by itself because I'm going at such a fast speed. So you want to make sure you control the car. Now, alternatively to shifting with the shifter, which I find fun because it's the more realistic way, you can shift with the paddle shift shifters and you don't need to use the clutch. Let's see if we can pick up speed here and possibly get to sixth. And there is a curve upcoming over here, so definitely be able to show you the force feedback there. And actually, surprisingly, there are a lot of games that support force feedback. Just to name a couple off PS3, we have Burnout Paradise, Midnight Club, uh, the Need for Speed games, uh, Shift, all that stuff. Um, Need for Speed, uh, Pursuit 2, um, Gran Turismo 5, Gran Turismo 6, which is coming out holiday, but if you have the Nissan Academy, you can use the steering wheel already. So I can shift here to 6th. And we're just gonna get to the curve, and after the curve, I'm gonna break the car, and um, I'll show you how to put it in reverse too, because this is something interesting um, that I didn't know how to do, and it just makes the realism of the car even better. So right now, you see I'm going pretty fast, and the steering wheel is wobbling, and that's because the car is swerving. So you gotta try to control it. Sensitivity is really great. Whatever bump you hit on the road, you will feel it on the steering wheel. So if I just go off road, I'll feel the vibrations in the steering wheel. So here comes that curve I was talking about. And if I turn, it's hard for me to turn because the wheel wants to turn the other way. If I just let go, I'll probably spin out of control, but I can't just do like a full turn that way because as you can see, the steering wheel starts skidding everywhere. Could probably go down here. See, I'm not good at clutching. Didn't I say I wasn't good? Okay. So I'm just going to try to steady this out. 
force feedback is really strong. It, it moves the desk that it's, this desk is not really, it's a flimsy desk. So I gotta say, it's not exactly a perfect example. But now that we made the curve, we're gonna go ahead and brake over here. And one of the things I have with the brakes is that they're very, 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 very hard to push on, but we'll brake it. As you see, if I go like this, it'll turn back. It adjusts itself like a real car. Now you're standing still and it, there is no force feedback. It will just stay like that, of course. You still have that uh, traction on the road though, because it is still kind of hard to turn. It's not just free turning, but you'll see it'll stay in position. So now I'm gonna explain how to reverse. So we're gonna go ahead and put in neutral. Um, to reverse, you wanna push down on the clutch. I push down on the shifter and put in reverse which I think you have to actually be stepping on the gas first. That's another thing too. So you put it back in neutral. So step on the, give it some gas, then clutch over to reverse. And there we go, now you reverse. So it's not that weird thing where you're reversing with the brake, which I find stupid, but no, you can actually reverse in this game. And that's by pushing down and going over to the sixth. So definitely do that. Um, it's definitely interesting. So this steering wheel is, is amazing. The quality, the build of it, um, the force feedback is strong and realistic. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just shift into first right now. Just drive off. Shift in second. And you can tell either by Gran Turismo 5 has that light over there to tell you when to shift. But you can also tell by the lights on the steering wheel which is a nice little add-on because sometimes you're not looking at the TV, you're not paying attention, and these lights are blaring at you. Okay. So guys, my review pretty much is that this steering, steering wheel is definitely one of the higher end steering wheels for uh, gaming. Um, it is totally worth it though. Like I said, you have your paddle shifters right here so you can shift down. Um, you don't have to use the shifter if you don't want to, but it's definitely a great way to get the most realistic feel in driving. And when you add this to a play seat, you just make it even more realistic because the play seat actually is made for the steering wheel, unlike this desk and my office chair, which is rolling back every time I step. So it's not exactly an optimal setup, but um, definitely still fun nonetheless. So guys, if you want to get this, uh, go over to gaming.logitech.com or I'll post a link where to buy it on Amazon too. Um, but it is definitely worth it for you hardcore uh, driving fans. If you want something a little more downscale, you can also get the Logitech GT steering wheel, uh, the Driving Force GT steering wheel, which is a little bit cheaper than uh, this wheel. But I gotta say though, the quality and build of this wheel is, is amazing. And for the price, you know, if you really wanna drive on your video games and drive like the most realistic possible, like a real simulator, I definitely recommend getting this wheel. So guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos and to check out the other products from the Logitech G series and my other reviews such as the reviews on the Logitech G510s, the Logitech uh, G, it was mice, I forget what the name, G700s and the G230 headsets. So be sure to check that out and thanks for watching and have a good one.